Today I'm going to show you how to make a shut up button. Yeah, now can you guys just make noise? I'm so loud. Hey, okay. Basically, this button is just going to make it so nobody else can talk except for you. Then we'll make the button switchable so you can turn it on and off. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and make a new roll with a roll chip. Then let's configure the roll chip. We can just call it muted let's see and then we want to edit the roll so then that makes this menu pop up what you want to do is go over to voice roll off up here hit override and then leave it at zero when it's at zero that means nobody can hear you whereas if it's at like 500 then basically everybody can hear you okay now that we have the roll now we've got to set up the system to give everybody that roll except for you First we get a button, then we're gonna get a for each and a get all players. Then we get a player add role. And so when somebody presses it, we wanna take all the players and we want to add a role to them. And that role is the muted role from earlier. So all that this will do is when you hit the button, it's gonna make every single player in the room go quiet and not be able to talk. But what we wanna do is add in a player that won't get muted. So for that, we're gonna go ahead and unhook the loop and the item and we will get an if chip, an equals chip, and then a get player by account name. So what we're gonna do here is have every time we run the loop, we want it to check and see if this player we're putting in here is equal to the current player coming out. And then if it is equal to the current player, then do nothing. But if it's not equal, then we want it to mute the player or add that role to them. So let's go ahead and just type in my name down here. All right, if you put your name in here, then it will mute everybody except for you. What if we have multiple people that we don't wanna mute? Well, we'll change that. This is gonna be very similar to the method we used in the auto kicker video. I'll leave it in the description. So we'll get a list create, list contains. We'll also need a two string. So in this situation, if we're gonna make it a list of multiple people, what we're gonna have to do is convert this player to a string, and then we're gonna check to see if this list that we created down here contains this string and then you can type in all the people you don't want muted in this list and just connect that to that that way if the list does contain the player that is currently coming out then it won't do anything but if it doesn't contain them then it will mute them i'm going to switch it back to the original because that's the one i like better all right, all we have left to do is a on off switch, which is gonna be a little bit more complicated. First off, we need a handy dandy bool and knot. Go ahead and hook this up, do our little X. Then we're gonna need another if chip. If, and then, is it true or false? If it's true, then do everything we already made. And then if it's false, we just wanna remove the muted role from everybody. So for that, we're gonna get another for each, and then we need a player remove role. I'm gonna do some reorganization real quick. If it's false, then, or rather else, uh, for every single player, we want it to remove the role, and that role again is the muted role. I would recommend that you make this button only able to be pushed by you. So if we configure this, you can only enable it or disable it for a certain role. So this means we're gonna have to give ourselves a certain role whenever we enter the room. So for that, we need an event receiver. We're gonna configure the event receiver to player joined. Then we need a if chip and then a add role an equals chip, and then a get player by account name. This works very much the same way where it checks to see if your account name matches, and then if it does, it will give you the role when you enter the room. Oh yeah, we need to make a new role. So we get another role chip. We don't really need to do anything with it because it's literally just to exclude people from a button. So we don't have to rename it or anything. You can if you want to, you can give it flying and stuff like that, whatever you want. But we'll leave it as new role. When a player joins, we want to check and see if the player equals whoever you want to be the the person that hits the button or you can do the list like earlier but i'm just going to leave it that way uh, if it does equal that then we want to go ahead and give them the new role down there let's go back to the button figure the button enable for new role which is the role i'll get when i join the room now we're ready to test it can you just go touch that button over there? Just just see if you can touch it. 
Okay. No. So that works. It won't let you touch it. Okay, now, all I need you guys to do is just talk. Just say random whatever. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, my gosh. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't hey. set it to zero. There we go. Okay, so now, yeah, now can you guys just make noise? I'm so loud. Hey, okay, there we go. Now it works. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and then we do that, and you can talk again. Yeah. All right. If this video helped you, make sure to throw a like on, subscribe, all that good stuff. RCL man out. Oh wait, I'm POV. Bye.